Offline games, they're just superior to online games due to their lack of annoying ads and the absence of cash-grabbing tactics. Offline games are becoming a super favorite genre for mobile gamers. That's why today I'm back with the 15 best offline games for Android and iOS that you don't want to miss out on. Number 15, MMA Fighting Clash 23. Out of one corner, a big martial artist holding a professional record. He's dead. At 170 if you love playing fighting games, then MMA fighting can be a game that you can add to your gaming library. In this game, you'll get the real environment of MMA fights as you enter the cage and try to knock out your opponent, performing some awesome combinations of kicks and punches. The game is so challenging that you can play it both online and offline, and there are over 100 different moves that make the gameplay insane. All in all, the game has stunning graphics and some good gameplay. Number 14, Dragon Sail. Now this one's a unique ship combat game where you play as pirates and control your pirate ship to attack others. The gameplay is kind of like Team Deathmatch where you and your allies will fight against other teams and collect resources to upgrade your ships and harbors. The game also features a vast open world map with day and night system which makes the game stunning. But the special thing about this game is that you can use dragons for aerial attacks and it's very useful and lets you have a lot of fun too. Overall, this game has stunning graphics and some good controls. Number 13, The Walking Zombie 2 Shooter. So I gotta say, I think this is one of the best zombie shooter games with a good storyline. Here, you'll explore the vast open world and fight against hordes of zombies, and as you progress through the game, you'll open several more cities, collect resources and weapons, and you will encounter many zombie bosses in the game, which can give you a thrill. So for a couple of months now, I've been using this app called Skitch, and I gotta say, it's amazing. Skitch is a new way to discover mobile games. It's a simple app that shows personalized games according to you. Now, if you want to get that, all you have to do is create your own account for free on Skitch and choose different preference settings from your favorite genres, like action adventure and racing. You can also filter by the type of game you want, like free or paid. There are so many options, and after it, Skitch creates game collections based on your interests. But of course, you can skip any game you don't actually like just by swiping it to the left, and if you want to play it later, swipe it to the right and it automatically gets added to your profile's wish list. Or you you can even get more information about the game just by tapping right onto the game's icon. Also, the newest feature launched on Skitch is called Game Launcher, and that allows you to launch your game and downloads. In Game Launcher, you can sort your games and quickly launch it and even delete from the device without exiting Skitch. There's even an activity feed section where you can see the activity of your friends. Besides that, the coolest feature is called Game List, where you can create as many playlists as you wish and allocate the games accordingly. Like here, I've created my own game list, 15 best offline games, free games, and more. Also, you can see the game lists of others and even save them to the playlist immediately. Just tap the discover and start enjoying. You can follow your favorite game developers and find out what other great games they have created. So go and download the Skitch app now, create an account today, and find me there with my game list. Number 12, Paperly Paper Plane. This one's a minimalist paper flight simulator game where you have to control a paper plane and explore the world that's full of adventure and challenges. In the game, you'll travel through dry deserts, tropical forests, and many other beautiful landscapes, but there are many obstacles that'll come in your way, and if you collide with anything in the world, it'll lead you to a crash landing. So try to fly as long as you can and unlock new levels as well as a new plane. With insane graphics, this game's a great choice for those seeking an immersive experience. Number 11, Six It. This is a unique cozy narrative puzzle game where you have six action per run, and when you've used them, you start over again, with the abilities or puzzles you solved remaining. Seriously, this game is so much fun, but you gotta have patience. Here, you have to pick up powers in an order to plan out your adventure through the map. Also, be sure to keep an eye out for secrets. There are several shortcuts throughout the map, in my opinion, this game has crazy gameplay, and if you're a hardcore gamer, then go for it. 
Number 10, In My Shadow. This is a unique game with a mixture of side scroller platforming and shadow manipulation puzzles, and I really like this type of game. Talking about this storyline of the game, this one follows Bella, who had a follow with her family years ago and now finds herself struggling to respond to her father's text message. Her childhood memories come to life as shadows on the wall of her house, and now you have to use those shadows to solve unique puzzles and help Bella try to let go of her past. Number 9. Horror Tale Series What? What do you mean? Just kidding. Never mind. I'll be there soon. Roger that. I'll meet you back at headquarters. Over. This is a first-person horror game that's set in a countryside town where loads of children are being kidnapped by a criminal whose identity remains unknown. Your goal in the game is to solve the different mysteries and try to find out who the kidnapper is. In the game, you have to avoid various traps and use different equipment to solve the mysteries. The best part though is that this game has fantastic visuals which make it outstanding. Number 8. Little Orpheus This is a puzzle platformer where you play as a Russian soldier Ivan who accidentally reaches to the center of the earth and sees a lot of unexpected things like dinosaurs and rockets. Now your objective is to save Ivan from this dangerous world and help him solve various puzzles. The controls of Little Orpheus are simple, but it does have some of the best graphic visuals and an amazing storyline. Number 7. Nasa Stradas do Brazil 2023 So if you're looking for a raw type of truck simulator game where you drive the truck on various off-road conditions, then this game's for you. Here, you will drive the different powerful trucks on various locations in Brazil. The game features different road conditions with toll plazas which make the game somehow realistic. The game also features more than 15 different sizes of truck that you can use for transportation, which makes the game pretty amazing. Number 6. Jelly Car Worlds now this one's a soft body physics game so you have to control a car that's made out of jelly and you have to utilize the various abilities of this jelly car to navigate the level and find the exit point like grow, balloon, sticky tires, rocket, and more. So in the game, you'll journey through multiple worlds, each with their own theme and gameplay mechanics. The game also features two different game modes with a lot of car customization options available. Plus, the sounds and visuals combine to give the experience of a flipbook animation come to life. Overall, I really like this game. It's truly engaging and challenging. Number 5. Nukem All 2 This one's a crazy game where you can complete all your evil wishes. Here, your top mission is to destroy everything scattered across the landscape. Kill everyone on the top secret hit list, drop nukes to wipe out a larger area, and become an accurate bomber to kill and cross off people off your most wanted list. You can also rescue some VIP commandos scattered across the desert terrain. All in all, it's a game where you're the boss. Number 4. Drive.RS This is an offline open world racing game offering players the freedom to explore a vast open world and engage in thrilling races. With its immersive gameplay, players can drive a variety of cars and navigate through diverse environments. Also, the game provides a dedicated drifting feature, allowing players to master the art of drifting. Besides it, there are many different areas where you can perform stunts. Also, Drive.RS delivers an exciting and immersive racing game for Android users who crave high-quality graphics and thrilling gameplay. Number 3 Toy Rider Toy Rider is a car racing game, but what makes it different from a typical car racing game is it's not just about speed. It's about balance, timing, proper use of power-ups, and speed. The game's inspired by the tabletop racing and micro-machine game, but with lots of upgrades and improvements. This game has become one of the best offline racing games. Here there are over 100 unique cars and more than 24 racetracks to give you a thrill. Number 2. Lost Worlds Barbara Kirk. Most people call me Izzy, not Dad. He calls me Titch. He's such a numpty head. 
If you're looking for a game with a good story, then this might be the one for you. It's an atmospheric adventure game that takes you on a journey through the power of words and storytelling. In Lost Words, you'll explore the vibrant and beautifully hand-drawn environments while unraveling a heartfelt narrative. The game uniquely combines platforming gameplay with word-based puzzles, where you must interact with words to solve challenges and progress through the game. With its stunning visuals, emotional storytelling, and innovative gameplay mechanics, Lost Words offers a thought-provoking and immersive experience for players seeking a blend of platforming and storytelling all in a mobile game. Number 1. Brotato Potato is a top-down arena shooter roguelike game where you play a potato wielding up to six weapons at a time to fight off hordes of aliens. Brotato takes a different approach to its gameplay loop. Instead of going for 30 minutes or until an end boss is vanquished, your task was surviving 20 waves of enemies with increasing difficulty quantities as rounds go on and on. In between each round, you'll have an opportunity to spend what you've collected from enemy drops and wield up to 6 unique weapons that are both ranged and melee. The range being a factor on how far you can swing or shoot. All in all, it's a very engaging game that you can play offline, but it does require the internet if you want to store the game data on the cloud. So there we have it, 15 best offline games of the month. Please let me know in the comments section which game you like the most. And if you want to be kept up to date on the latest and best mobile games as they release, then subscribe to Down to Top with bell notifications turned on. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.